Michelle Sadat is our next guest on the program, and she is with the Rotary, and it is the Noontime Rotary. Yes, Michelle. the Martinsburg Noon Club. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, and there's, how many different Rotaries do we have? So we actually have the Satellite Club in Spring Mills, mm-hmm. which just opened, um, and we have our Noon Club uh, that meets at the Holiday Inn every Thursday, and then there's the um, Sunrise Club. They meet way too early in the morning for me at 7.30, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, And so those are the clubs here in Berkeley County. Okay. And and Michelle, what do you do when you're not running things for Rotary? Well, I own Advocate Insurance Group, Mm -hmm. and we are located right downtown in Martinsburg. And we offer all different types of insurance for businesses, families, individuals, home, auto, business, life insurance, health insurance, all that kind of good stuff. Is that the AIG tag I see on soccer uniforms around the the world? Well, that's not the same one around the world, no. Um, But Advocate Insurance Group, we sell for Erie Insurance, Westfield, um, Progressive, Mm -hmm. American Modern. We have a lot of different companies that we work with to be able to provide our customers with the right insurance for their specific okay. needs. And how long have you been doing that? Um, I started Advocate in 2008, so we are coming up on our 15-year anniversary, which makes me feel really old. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so we've been yeah doing this in the community for 15 years and mm-hmm. really enjoy it. Do you have a backstory like John's where you've moved a lot <laughs> over the years? <laughs> no war stories no for war me, stories. <laughs> um, fortunately. Um, but yeah, so I've been in the, the panhandle since... Um, 1999 Uh, my dad moved uh, the family here he worked for the IRS Mm -hmm. um, at the computing center and so we moved here um, back then so which high school did you end up going to I didn't I was actually homeschooled and so moved here uh, my senior year which was not you know that was definitely against my will (laughs) 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 but um, now this is home so well very nice yeah well welcome thank you and uh, as a result of your role with Rotary, you are yes. involved in giving away a lot of money. Yes. Um, so we're really fortunate. Uh, Rotary is an international organization. Um, so it is a nonprofit that is worldwide. So it's kind of a, a really unique um, opportunity here in the panhandle to not only give back locally but globally as mm-hmm. well um, so we are the longest standing rotary club in the area um, and we've celebrated I, I believe we're at 103 years old now so uh, a awesome. long standing club we have over 130 members so we're also the largest club in the area and um, we have the ability to fundraise which um, we use those funds every year um, we look, we open up um, applications so that uh, people can, nonprofits can apply uh, for funding. Last year, we were able to help Good Samaritan Free Health Clinic open up a second exam room. Oh, we've had them on the show. Very mm-hmm. exciting. Yeah, um, we also helped uh, pave the walking path at South Middle School. Mm-hmm. Um, we supported a new um program for Martinsburg Initiative, Mm -hmm. as well as CASA of the Eastern Panhandle, and um, help the Boys and Girls Club get their team program back up and running, um, as well as provided some inflatable games for the um, the Parks and Rec um, that they're able to take to different community events now. So uh, we gave out over $56,000 last year, and that was all because of fundraising efforts. So um, this is actually a brand new event that I wanted to talk today about Mm -hmm. and it is the hope gala and again the reason we're doing this is to fundraise so we haven't picked the charities that we're going to give to this coming year so this money is being raised um, so that we can you know give back to those local charities um, that will determine later on in the year is fifty six thousand dollars a reasonable amount that you hope to raise again this year is your target higher it is our goal um it was a real stretch last year um and we got there and we're really excited and so we're hoping to to hit that again this year and mm-hmm. we hope that the gala will help us do that describe the gala when where and how should you dress sure so it is september 30th at the hilton garden inn in martinsburg and um it is cocktail attire black tie optional so it's a great excuse to get really um, all dolled up Um, Jenny Lynn photography is actually going to be there um, taking photos so 
if you and your significant other are out and about all dressed up mm -hmm. to the nines and you want to make sure to capture that moment, she'll be there to do that so you can have a beautiful photo mm -hmm. um, to remember the night. Um, and the tickets are on sale now. The really exciting thing is this is a first time event. But it's also, I believe, the first time that the Eastern Panhandle has ever had a professional dueling piano show. So we've actually hired a company called Felix and Fingers Dueling Pianos to come and perform the show. And they perform across the country. So this is not, you know, the guy that plays piano at church on Sunday. <laughs> this is a professional um, company that's coming in. Um, to, to give us a really good show. I had a friend in college by the name of Mike Williams. Remember the old Bruce Williams show, mm -hmm. right? Uh, he used to run across all those stations at night. That was his son. He went to the same college I went to, Duquesne University in Pittsburgh. And he and another guy started uh, a franchise in Pittsburgh called Jelly Rolls, which was dueling pianos. Oh, right? And they nice. had franchises all over the place, and it was pretty cool. Uh, so it's a, it's a great show if you haven't seen it before. So, yes. so uh, representing those who are totally unaware, <laughs> what not is, just about this, but about a lot of stuff. <laughs> what is dueling pianos, or what are dueling pianos? So they are true entertainers uh, who are also pianists yeah. and singers. So they come in with their pianos, two of them dueling, um, and they put on a show. They take um, recommendations. Um, so if you want a certain song to be played, um, they will play the song and um, they really get the crowd involved. So um, I mean, do they alternate one and then the other? Is sometimes that how they work? They play together. Sometimes they're like dueling who does the song better. Um, they really get the crowd involved. There's usually lots of dancing and, okay. you know, fun, it's fun. Involved. Very energetic. Very up to a lot of fun. You, I never you, heard of it. Blast. Oh, you got to see it. You got to go. Well, this is the first time it's coming to the panhandle, so <laughs> that might be why. Yeah, you, but you got to see the You don't want to miss it. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have dinner. Where too. do you get tickets, by the way? Um, you For go sure. on to our website, which is um, www.martinsburgrotary.com. Easy mm -hmm. enough. Martinsburgrotary.com. You can also go to our Facebook page, um, Martinsburg Rotary Club, um, and get tickets the tickets are 125 dollars each and that includes what that includes dinner dessert drinks and of course the professional dueling piano show um and we will have silent auction items and live auction items as well um so we've got a couple other surprises up our sleeve um like i mentioned we will have uh jenny lynn photography there as well to capture the evening so we've got a lot of things um we're really thankful for our sponsors for making this event um happen so mm -hmm. i would like to mention our sponsors please. too please um so our baby grand piano sponsors our top level um canova aesthetics which is a brand new med spa that's coming to martinsburg they have not actually opened yet so um that's you know something new and exciting that's happening and coming to our area and they've already um sponsored this event so we're thankful to them mansion and ferretti law injury law uh, they are also baby grand piano sponsor and yours truly advocate insurance uh, came in for the um, top sponsorship level as well we also for upright piano sponsors we have edward jones tracy regalia and Derek hellman we have Roach Energy, SC Studios, United Bank, Depot Florist, and Cape Cod Formals, which would be a great place to get that cocktail or formal attire for the evening. Good stuff. Matt Miller. You mentioned raising $56,000 in, in this particular event. How many other events, what other ways do you seek to be able to raise those funds to help local charities? So the 56000 that we raised was collective. Um, from all of the events that we had last mm -hmm. year. So um, we have a golf tournament. We also have pancakes for polio. Um, and we have a uh, pickleball tournament that you may have heard about. Yes. Um, another Rob uh, who puts <laughs> a lot of time and energy into to that yeah. amazing 
uh, human. But uh, so those were the the events that we had last year. So this Hope Gala is actually this is our first time ever right. having this event. Um, we were fortunate to have some surplus from years in the past that we were able to pull in last year okay. um, to hit that 56,000 mark. So with bringing in a new fundraiser, we're hoping to be able to, again, hit that $56,000 mark to, to give that money away for local charities. Fantastic. You yeah. mentioned the local charities have not yet been chosen. What's Correct. the process? So at, I believe it is December 1st, we will open up applications. So any nonprofit is able to apply um, for a grant and we have a small grant up to 5,000 or a larger grant grant up to 20,000 um, so that will remain open you can go on our website um, martinsburgrotary.com to apply and that'll be open for two months and then we have a committee that goes through all of those applications we had 31 applications last year mm -hmm. so it was difficult we chose six that we were able to fund mm -hmm. Um, and so we anticipate having even more than 31 right. next year. Um, so that is, uh, we're basically this year just trying to raise as much money as we can through the fundraising so that we have um, as much money possible to help these nonprofits. You mentioned six that were chosen last year. Is yes. that kind of a number that you look to choose each year, or is that just a matter of the needs and how it all plays out? Just a matter of the needs. Okay. Ultimately, we want to give back to the community, um, and we want to be able to fully fund projects. We don't want to you know, give right. $1,000 here, $1,000 there, and not actually see the change happen. Mm -hmm. So we want to be able to fully fund projects. Um, and what we're looking to do with that fund, those funds, like I mentioned, we were able to open up a second exam room um, at the clinic. We want things that are going to be impactful and really, um, you know, make a difference. We don't. We want to do something that will um, be either starting something new or expanding something that's existing. Uh, are there categories that you have that you give out? Say a certain amount in this category, a certain amount in another category, a certain amount in another category, or do you just each year say, okay, we'll see what's out there and we'll make the decision as, as to who gets what money. Good question. Yeah. We, uh, and this is actually our first year doing a formal grant process. Um, last year was our first year. And so uh, what we did was we polled our clubs. So we have, as I mentioned, uh, 135 members and we polled the club what out of it, uh, Rotary's focus areas, which are women and children, um, health and hygiene, um, education, there's um, community development, there's um, seven or eight um, different criteria. What out of those are our club members most concerned about and most mm -hmm. wanting to spend the funds on? And so once we found that, we were able to kind of prioritize um, what was coming in uh, as far as the, the applications. Um, to determine how to, to give those funds out. So if our club was mostly concerned with education, we made sure to you know put a mm -hmm. focus on, on education. Michelle Sedat is our guest. It's the first annual Hope Gala with drinks, dining, and dueling pianos on September the 30th at the Hilton Garden Inn in Martinsburg. Things get underway at 6, and that $125 admission uh, not only includes your dinner and the entertainment, but uh, drinks too. And of course, part of that is your contribution to the fundraising efforts from the Noon Rotary, which will go to many good organizations in our area, which are trying to advance the cause and do uh, work to, to help in many different uh, avenues, as was just described a moment ago uh, by Michelle. It's uh, cocktail attire, black tie optional too. And again, Michelle, where can you get tickets for the event? You can go right to our website, <coughs> martinsburgrotary.com. You can purchase tickets there. We are still um, looking for sponsors, so we do have a great lineup of sponsors already. But if you're interested, uh, that website will also give you the opportunity to advertise your business as well as purchase tickets. So um, please consider that. Mm -hmm. And thank you for your support and definitely get your tickets because mm -hmm. the event is fastly approaching. I guess we're only a month and a half out, right? What day of the week is September 30th? It is Saturday. I'd say Saturday 6 night. 6 p.m., okay. yes. Uh, and uh, you mentioned about giving away $56,000 in scholarships, I'm sorry, grants uh, last time. Yes. Is, is, and that's a goal this year. Is, is a, a, number, a number that you've set or is it 56,000 or is it 75,000? What are you looking to 56, hit? 56,000 is our goal for this year. That's yes. the number. Okay. Mm -hmm. And are you modeling this after an event that's been held in other areas? 
No, this was really just a, a brainstorming session with uh, myself and Tracy Regalia, um, who's mm -hmm. the vice president of the club. And um, we were uh, just trying to figure out something new and exciting that hasn't happened in the panhandle. We like getting dressed up so we thought hey let's have a gala but we wanted to put some kind of spin on it where it's not just your your typical gala and i think again the level of entertainment that we're bringing to this is going to be a lot of fun very well done thank you so much appreciate you coming to michelle thanks so much for having me rob michelle sadat from the noon rotary at 957.